what's up y'all it's your girl kai and i'm back with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new here what's up my name is kai and you are tuning into my youtube channel it must be kai definitely go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe button before we get right into this video where i will be reviewing donna's recipe by tabitha brown i have all three products here for styling and i cannot wait for y'all to see this wash and go and how it comes out so if you're interested in seeing my full honest review just stay tuned All right, y'all, so we're just gonna go ahead and hop right into this video of reviewing these products. By first of all, starting off, I'm really just gonna introduce the products, but real quick, all I did was hop in the shower. I just rinsed my hair just a little bit, and then I used a little bit of shampoo as well. I am going to be doing my hair with these products of this Donna's recipe. I'm super duper excited. So I have um, Donna's recipe by Tabitha Brown here it is i absolutely love the packaging the packaging is a 10 out of 10 this just looks so sleek simplistic but also too it looks like it came out of my great grandma's kitchen at the same time do y'all see that do y'all see what i'm seeing but this is the sweet potato pie extra creamy leave-in conditioner rich and sweet it's made with real sweet potatoes stirred with vanilla and sprinkled with warm cinnamon perfect hair recipe for nourishment and moisture for hair and scalp oh oh i like this okay and all these products are i will say inexpensive because for all of these i think i paid 45 dollars. they were 15 dollars a piece so i'm gonna be using these today i'm super excited so along with the leave-in conditioner i also got the sweet potato pie extra creamy hair cream as well so this is it here there's no parabens it's color safe and it's for your girl okay so i'm super excited about using this and then this is the sweet potato pie extra creamy hair and scalp oil okay so this is it here so all i'm gonna do real quick is i'm gonna pop everything open and smell it or should i do it as i go what do y'all think because my hair is drying real fast look i got high porosity hair it's drying real quick but i got my spray bottle to help it out so i'm just gonna crack this open and i'm gonna give it a whiff oh it smells good i like it it smells like a bath and body works candle like a vanilla cinnamon buttercup you know you know how bath and body works be making all day since just like make you hungry like i love me some auntie tab and i love donna as well so let's go ahead and get this in our hair okay so i got my hair section of course we're gonna start with this section um i'm gonna be detangling my hair so let's see if i can detangle with this product okay because that's gonna be the big thing for me yeah it smells good it's a creamy consistency pretty creamy i'd say it's not very thick it's it, I, i'll say it's like lotion it's giving lotion okay y'all it smell like thanksgiving it smell like it, it really does smell like a sweet potato pie that you're putting on your hair my hair is absorbing it nicely let me get a little more Mm. this might be a nice leave-in it's not as thin and as watery as my quench but i like it i'm just running my fingers through just to get a couple of the kinks out y'all it, sm it smells like bath and body works candle like it smells like like a cookie literally like sweet potato like i should have did this for fall baby because it's just making me want it to be fall all over again and I know I didn't really care for this brush like that when I first got it, but I kind of like it now just because it makes my detangling process go faster. Okay, y'all, it got a nice slip to it. It's not too thick, got a nice slip going. And this is a pretty big section I just grabbed. It's coating my hair really nicely. 
It smells so good, y'all. It smells so good. Let me twist this up and get it out of the way so we can go to the next section. Y'all, I really just can't get over the smell. I wonder what made her choose sweet potato. Cause I read her book before and I don't recall her mentioning like any significance behind the sweet potato, but I love it. Here's my twist. It's all juicy and soft and it's shiny. Mm-hmm. And the leave-in does have enough water in it. I haven't had to add water to my hair yet. Okay y'all, so now it is applied to the entire backside section of my hair. And besides me being real hungry right now, because that's how I'm feeling, like this has made me hungry. It's made me want fall time again. Um, I really do love the fact my hair is absorbing it like crazy. And that's what I love and that's what I look for in a leave-in. I don't like leave-ins to be sitting on top of my hair. And I like my leave-in to have a lot of slip to it. I have not had to add any water to my hair. It's provided a nice amount of slip. It smells good. And my hair is absorbing it very, very nicely, I would say. So, with that being said, I'm just going to continue to put this on the rest of my head before we go to the next product. I know I have three different products to apply, so let me just hurry up and get through this as far as the leave-in so we can go to the next product. Alright y'all, so I have all the leave-in in my hair. My twists look all thick and juicy. The product is absorbing nicely into my hair. I was very generous with it because that's just what I do. Like I need to be generous with these products so I could really see the real feel of them. Like I gotta apply it, okay? And also too, I really just love the way this smells. Like on the bottle she has that this is a dessert for your hair. And that's really how I'm feeling now because it smells so good and it just feels good too like i can't even lie to y'all like the leave-in is going to get a 10 from me okay leave-in's getting a 10 period i love the way it smells i like the slip i like the feel of it it was easy to detangle my hair it wasn't too thick it's not sitting on top of my hair my curls are absorbing it and just like having the time of their life okay my curls are feeling it so, with that being said, and the leaving getting a 10, let's go ahead on to the next two products. However, with me being a high porosity girl, I am going to be doing cream and then oil, okay? I don't know about this oil. Hmm, it scares me, okay? Let's just go ahead and put that out there. It scares me. So, let's just go ahead and open up this. It comes with a cute sealant. So, this is my first time experiencing it. It's very thick, I can tell. So look at it, it is very thick. And also too, this don't have no smell. It doesn't have as like strong of a smell 
as the leave-in and I'm kind of disappointed by that because I would like for it to have a little smell to it. So let's dip into this. As you can see, it is thick, it's creamy, nice consistency. This is the cream here. Like I said, it is thick, nice consistency. It does not have as much as a, a smell as the leave-in though. So I'm just gonna put this all over my hair. Oh, 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 this is nice. I'm gonna have to try a twist out or a braid out with these products. This is nice. Oh, that's going on my hair like freaking butter. Ooh, I like that. It's literally like butter, literal buttercream. And it just soaks right into my hair. So I'm gonna get another good amount. And it glides. This cream has a lot of slip to it. Even though it's thick, it has a ton of slip to it. I can feel it. This is a heavy cream. Look at that. It's a heavy cream, but it feels good. Okay. I like the cream too, and I'm not even a cream girl. Y'all know I'm a gel girl. Oh, I like this. This is top tier. Oh, this feels so good. It this this feels like a hair mask. Like it's healthy. Like I this has some healthy components in it, y'all. I like this. My hair like it too. It's making my hair so soft. Oh my goodness. See, I like stuff like this, and it be making me want to leave it and do a wash and go. But I already know how my hair gonna come out. Like I already know. Like every time I love a cream and I want to do a cream based wash and go. It just down mm -hmm, this side of my hair. My hair is loving this product. My hair like this. And my hair don't like a lot of stuff, but my hair like this, okay? All right, y'all, so all the product is in, well, as far as the cream, okay? All the cream is in, <laughs> y'all. And this is how much of it I used. That's it. That's all I used. I still got a whole jar. And you know, y'all, that's what I be looking for. I love that because I don't like using a whole bunch of product and then it be about gone on my first try. I love it, okay? So far, these right here, Yes, my hair is so moisturized. It's so soft. My hair likes these products, okay? And my hair don't like a lot of stuff. My hair likes these products. My hair does not like a lot of stuff. But as you can see, my curls are literally defining in everything. Like, this really got me making, this kind of making me want to leave it to see what type of wash and go is going to come out as. Like, I'm already giving it 10s, and we still got one product left, but... I like this, okay? This is 
superb. So the last one is something out of my comfort zone, okay? This is a hair and scalp oil. So that means you could put it both ways. You can put it on your scalp or on your hair shaft. If you know me, you know I do not put oil on my scalp at all. Like that's a big no-no for your girl. I'm very excited to open this because I'm ready to see what like, what the consistency of it is. Like what is this and how does it smell and all that stuff. I opened it. Yeah, y'all, yeah, I don't like the way this smells. Hmm. I don't like the way this smell. This don't smell good, but is this shea butter? Y'all, I think this is shea butter. Look, like, It's, it's like shea butter. It's like a waxy to it. Oh, I don't like, why do I keep smelling it? Do, do we all do that? Like if you smell something that you don't like, you just keep smelling it. Like, and it's like, Kai, stop smelling it. You don't like it, it stinks, okay? So this is interesting. I don't know how to apply this for real, but I'm gonna do it because I see it through. I always see it through, okay? Um, I think I'm gonna section my hair back and I think I'm gonna just put it in my hands and like rub it and then apply it to the section. What y'all think? Is that what y'all do because I'm very unfamiliar with this. This is foreign to me. Okay, we're gonna do this section. I'm scared, so I'm gonna grab some. The consistency made me want to put it on my body, but to put it on my body, it's so creamy like it's like shea butter and Vaseline mixed together. This made me want to put it on my body. Oh, Tab, you might need to come out with a body oil because that's what this is giving me. That's what this is giving. Okay, I think this is enough. I'm scared. I'm scared. We just gonna grab the section. We just gonna... Just... Okay. Like this. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. I don't like the way it smells. I don't like it, but this is interesting. This is interesting. I've never rubbed oil on my hair shaft without the intent of rinsing it. So I'm gonna get like this much more. I know I shouldn't be using a ton of this because I really don't know what I'm doing, but this is what we gonna do. You know what? I just thought about what this smells like. Okay, so the leave-in and the cream smell like sweet potato, right? They smell like the vanilla and the cinnamon of a sweet potato pie. This smell like the bread. This smells like the crust. I'm smelling it now that I'm putting it on my hair and putting it all together. This smells like the crust. It's defining my curls very, very nicely. Yeah, this is nice.
All right, y'all, so every single product is in my hair, okay? I'm gonna let this dry and we gonna see what it look like as a wash and go, okay? In all my days as a natural, I have never ever done this before. Put a oil, a oil on the outside of a cream wash and go, like this is a wash and go with no gel, like what kind? Like this is very unheard of for me. Curious as to how this wash and go is going to come out, okay? It's super duper creamy. I like this product. And now that I have it on my hair, all it, it, it smells like the crust of the pie, like it smells like the bread. So I'm actually kind of feeling it. So we just gonna wait this out. So I will see y'all later. All right, y'all, so it has been a couple of hours, okay, since I did this wash and go. My hair is about 50, 65% dry, okay? I love it. I like this product. This is a good wash and go. I can tell what it's gonna look like when it dries, like 100%. It's not gonna get very different from this. Y'all, this is nice. I love this. I love this wash and go. The smell did not fade away at all either. I still smell all the products. It's not all absorbed in my head. I maybe have used too much of the oil because it's not soaking all the way in. It's soaked all the way in like under here and stuff like that. But what y'all are seeing majority of is shine. And like these little bits right here is just a little bit of buildup of products. But other than that, baby, it's in my hair. And my hair is soft. The curls are literally popping. Like, I completely underestimated this. With this being my first time doing a wash and go with the LCO method, I'm gonna have to rate it a eight, okay? And let me tell you why. So, and that means I am rating this line as a whole. This line as a whole get a 10 from me these are some really good products these are some very well formulated products okay i give this entire line a 10 it's a 10 okay it must be kai said donna's recipe by tabitha brown is a 10 okay so i'm giving the products a 10 my wash and go i'm giving it an 8 and let me tell you why i'm giving my wash and go as for what it is right now an 8 just because I, of my own fault, I did use a little too much. So I am getting a little bit of white buildup residue, but I do think that will go away. And I'm also giving it an eight because me personally, and I will say that I don't like that when I touch my hair, there's oil on my hands. That's not for me. I'm used to touching my hair, running my hands through my hair, flipping it around, all that stuff and there's nothing on my hands and that's because of me using a gel like the gel is gonna dry completely and i'm not gonna feel that however we all know that oil is very thick so i just don't like the fact that when i touch my hair there's oil on my hands like i don't like that at all i feel like i'm gonna have oil all over my pillows i just don't so i i love this wash and go this is something that I will have to get used to. I don't know if it's gonna stay like this. Like when I touch my hair, I don't know if it's gonna continue as the days go on. I don't know if it's gonna continue to get oil on my hands to the touch as the days go on, but we're gonna find out. But I think this wash and go came out bomb.com. Like it's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. There's movement to it. I just, like as I'm touching my hair, there is oil. Look at my hands. They are so oily and I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that, okay? Cause I touch my hair often. I flip my hair out my face and all that stuff. And just with that oil coming off on my hands, look, I don't want to be able to do this. Mm -mm, I don't like that. Overall, like I said, this entire product line, this Donna's recipe does get a 10 from me. I will be using this line in the same order that I did on camera. Sometimes I might just use the oil and the cream. Sometimes I might use the whole thing, but I love this product. That really just brings me to the end of this video. I wanna thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Y'all do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next video.